Hey guys, it's Rachel Joy over at Joyful Derivatives. Um, I didn't really think about the fact that talking into my phone in a store was going to be some awkward, but I feel a little bit crazy. Um, anyway, so uh, I'm at Goodwill tonight, and I want to take you guys on a little shopping tour um, and show you how I shop at a thrift store for home decor. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to post how um, the things I buy tonight I actually place into my home. So um, first, before I get started in showing you what... Um, I'm shopping for. I wanted to show you this fun little cheat sheet I made for you guys. Uh, here, let me turn my phone around. So I made these really cool um, sheets that tell you like which measurements to mark down so you know what size of things to get as well as what items I typically look for when I'm out at a thrift store um, because I think there's some home decor things that are really important to scope out and then there's others that are maybe more important not to look at. Um, and so, uh, I'm going to, I put a link to that in my profile. If you want to download it and take it with you, you can print it like I did and take it to the store. And then while you're there, you can, um, know what to look for, uh, in the different areas of the home section. So I'm going to start here because I sort of scoped out a little bit before I started my live and I found some frames that I really want. So, um, one of the items on my list is frames and art. So I'm going to start in this aisle and I'm going to flip it around and show you guys what I'm doing here. So this is the frames in our aisle in our Goodwill. There's lots of big frames. Um, the ones that caught my eye were right here. Oh, do you see those beautiful pink frames? Oh my goodness. So the thing that I'm doing in our dining room makeover that's coming up is uh, like a moody blush uh, dining room. And we're going to do um, a black wall, black half wall, and some blush colored. And then a rug that has really great navies and pinks in it or blush colored pinks. So those will look fabulous. So um, other things I recommend looking for, obviously um, frames that are packaged and not used or um, like this frame is kind of cool. It's got some glitter on it. Looks like it's in good condition and it's brand new from Ross. So that's a good deal. Um, I even like this little white one, like for a girl's bedroom. So this is definitely one aisle I would scope out and even if you need to dig a little bit, do it because um, there can be really great things in here. I've gotten um, even some that, like a mirror that I didn't like the color of, and you can just tape the mirror off and spray paint it a color that you want. But big mirrors are expensive, and sometimes you can find them at thrift stores for really cheap and then just fix them up how you want them. So, okay, that's one of mine. Next, I'm going to head over to the baskets and show you how I scope out the baskets in a thrift store. So here we go. It's right down here. I hope you all are having a great night. This is so fun. Can I just take you shopping with me every week? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I like that it gives me an excuse to shop too. But um, Okay, so here's the basket. So I'm going to flip it around. Okay, so here we don't have a huge basket selection in this one. But uh, things like this one are what I always look for. So I typically, when I'm looking at baskets, I don't ever get ones with one single big handle like this one unless I'm doing like an Easter basket or a lot of times in the spring I'll do or summer I'll do veggies from our garden and take them like to friends and I'll buy those and then just leave them with my friends while they're but this one right here is what I typically look for for decor because this is a round tray like basket let me pull it out here so this could be like hung on a wall as art it could be set on a coffee table with um, fun little knickknacks on it, those kinds of things. So I'm definitely going to get this one. Let's see if there's any other good ones here. Hmm. I think I'm just going to call that one for tonight. There's lots with big handles. I mean, it is Easter week. So if you're in the market for Easter baskets, I'd say for sure grab one. There's tons at the local thrift stores. Um, okay. So I think I'm going to call it good with the baskets. Let's see what else is on my list here. I'm going to go by my list so that y'all know that it actually works. Uh, ooh, dishware. I love dishware. So typically I don't buy mugs because I don't collect them and I don't drink coffee from more than one mug a day. Um, so I typically don't get mugs unless they're really, really cool. Uh, the one thing I really scope out is unique dishes, um, like groups of colored dishes. When I was decorating for Valentine's Day, I got a whole group of, um, clear blush colored dishes that looked awesome, um, on my open shelves in my hutch. To, and they matched kind of the season that we were in. So I still have them up for spring. I love them. I'm probably going to leave them up forever. I don't know. Um, but I will turn this around and show you guys the dish aisle here. So this is our dish aisle. Lots and lots of dishes. Obviously, there's lots of generic dish sets like 
things like this. And if you need just basic dishes, then for sure scope it out. But I always look for something that's more unique that could be used as a tray or let's see what they've got here. Ooh, like these bowls. Oh, I love this. Look at these fun little pink bowls. Aren't those great? And two for $2, are you kidding me? I love it. So those are the kinds of things I look for. Um, fun, colored, little, uh, unique type dishes that you can use um, for decor. I'm also kind of seriously crushing on these egg-shaped. Are those egg-shaped for Easter? I don't know. They almost look guitar pick-shaped. Mm. If those were egg-shaped, I might have gotten them for Easter, but I think I'm not going to. Anyway, I think I'm going to call that good. I didn't want to keep you guys for an hour and a half, which is my typical Goodwill shopping time. The other thing I mentioned in my post about the uh, thrift uh, thrift store shopping is that these end caps are like the gold mine. So they typically will take their best items and kind of group them by color. Don't be intimidated by a color. Like I don't ever, I rarely put red in my house, but there are times I find something I love on one of their displays that's a red display. So let's see what's going on in here. Anything good? It is kind of fun that all the spring and Easter stuff is out this week. I kind of like this little tray in the back here. I'm going to see if I can grab it. <laughs> well, it's really stuck in there. Give me a sec, guys. I got to move a few things out first. It almost looks like a little handmade tray. And it's in like a pale green color. Oh, it has a little chip on it. I do like it, but see there's a little chip there. Oh, that would have been fun. Okay, I'm going to put it back. So, like I said, make sure you scope out these end caps because there's always really good stuff. And actually, almost all of the time, the things that I buy are things that are tucked back as like displays in the back. Um, and that's mostly because I love to buy decorative trays or um, plates that can be... I like this frame. I'm probably going to get my hat. And it's like still in the wrapper. $6.99, guys. I love this. Okay, so we've got art, we've got a basket. Next up is the floral section. Um, floral stems can be spendy, and if you can find any good ones, I could well, I would totally recommend it. Um, let's see here. I am a, a big fan of things that look real though, and so I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of picky about my floral stems, and I don't get them here super often. Um, I did get one last time I was here in a blush color that was fabulous. Let's see. I'm so glad this is helpful, you guys. This is so fun. I just seriously want to take you shopping every day. Oh, I found. Let's see. There's vases on this aisle, too. Um, let's see. I don't see any good floral stems tonight, so I'm not going to buy them. That's the other thing is uh, don't buy things unless you really need them. Hi, Candice. Um, there are so many random things at thrift stores that can seem like a great idea, but I usually only buy things that I know I have a spot for or a purpose for, unless I'm going to repurpose them for something else. Oh, look at this. I love these blue glass vases. $7.99, guys. Hello. This is awesome. Okay, I'm getting that too. See? This is so fun. Okay. So, we found a vase. We found couple frames, a basket. Another thing I recommend in my little cheat sheet is wood decor. And you can see this is the aisle that has like a ton of wood decor. Ton, ton, ton. And I typically get things like wooden bowls, wooden trays, um, signs. You're probably going to find in here like the little signs that say fun things on them. And um, this, I kind of like this wood display board. It's got a little bit of damage on the top, you can see there. But I'm going to check... Oh, and it's got feet on it. I don't know if I'm, so I'm not going to get it because of that damage, but I would like that if it wasn't damaged. That's the other thing. Make sure you're getting quality stuff because there is quality stuff to snag. And it's not worth your money if it's not quality. These are kind of fun little corbels to use as bookends. I think I like those. See, and sometimes you have to get creative. <laughs> I do love to be creative. Those of you who know me personally know that that's a big thing for me. Okay, what else have we got here? I might call that good. I did promise to put all of these things in fun spots in my house, so I better not go crazy and buy a ton. Could I stand that, Candace? Honestly? It has some sort of like a clear coat on it. 
Could Chris just re-clear coat it? If you say yes, I'm going to buy it. Because I think it's really fun. I'll wait and see what you say. Okay, I'm going to try it just for you. And maybe I'll even do a tutorial on it and say compliments of Candace because she's awesome. Here's some really fun um, big candlestick corbels. I've been working on... Um, I got like developing my mantle guide and these are big thing people put on their mantles um, as weight on either side of the anchor and these are really heavy. I don't really I don't really have a place for them right now so I'm not um, going to buy those but that would be something that I would look for if I was trying to decorate my mantle for a certain type of thing. So okay I think we're done with this aisle. Um, I'm going to go scope out the linens. The linens is another place. I know it sounds kind of weird to buy linens at the thrift store, but ours actually have a ton that are still in the packages with the tags on them. And um, I'm not going to lie, I spotted a, a gray um, faux fur throw over there that I might grab because I'm like addicted to the, um, faux, th the faux fur stuff right now. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because of the winter and I just want to be warm all the time or what, but I love it. So we're headed over. Here is the first stop. <laughs> Candace, I know. I love having you on here. Okay, so these are um, where you would find like sheet sets, tablecloths, uh, curtains. You can see our um, thrift store. Go ahead. Um, actually get stuff from Target. That's a Target clearance tag and they're unopened. Um, they donate all the stuff that they can't sell on clearance to Goodwill, and then we get the benefit of, ooh, this is a fun pillow cover. I like that. Um, of buying their hand-me-downs, right? That aren't even used, I love it. Let's see, in the dining room, I don't really need sheet sets right now, um, but I have looked here before if I needed them. Like these are super cute sheets right there. Oh, um, so the faux, the faux fur one that I'm looking at is actually new. It has a tag on it from Target. So this is the other um, section of linens. This is more like big blankets, sheets, really large curtains that are opened. Um, I do kind of love these pillows. I might actually buy those because we're getting um, a rug that has some navy in it. And we might actually paint the wall. And you can see there's still a tag on those. Um, we might actually paint the wall a dark navy instead of a black. I haven't quite decided yet. This is going to be a really fun um, room to design. So let's see. So here's the throw pillows up here. I didn't spot any up here earlier. I walked back to the back of the store this way, so I kind of peeked and cheated before I got you guys on here. And then um, <laughs> Chris, that's my husband, everyone, in case you're wondering, Christopher Stephen Lang. He likes to tease me on these things. Um, okay, so here's the faux fur. He's going to love this. <laughs> Look at this thing. Isn't it beautiful? Oh. Okay, and then you can see here, I don't know if I actually spotted a tag, but there's, you can see on this tag that they've marked off the label, and that's the Target brand. <laughs> I mean, it's just so fabulous. And see, there's a little clearance tag. So I may just have to get this. <laughs> And then I can show you all where I put it in my house. See, that's fun, right? Totally justified. So um, I would probably actually just wash this even if it had a tag on it because it's been in the store and it's been around the rest of the stuff here. But um, for throw pillows, I typically don't buy them unless they've been, they've got a tag on them and they aren't used. But you could, um, you could take them home and sanitize them. You could spray them down with some Febreze cleaner or you could even probably throw them in the wash if they were a cover that you could pull off versus just a sewn um, throw pillow. So, okay, so let's see. On my list, my little cheat sheet, here you go. Mm -hmm. uh, baskets we looked at, lamps. I'm not in the market for lamps, but um, there's typically always gonna be lamps available. I would say make sure they're the style that goes with your house and make sure they're not broken because um, you don't wanna take home a broken lamp. But also you can get some really great um, uh, just the lamp shade if you wanted um, a different lamp shade for your current lamp and that would change up the space entirely. So that's a really um, thrifty way to change up a lamp if you didn't want to buy a whole new one. Uh, dishware we got, um, I don't know if I bought any dishware. I did buy a vase. I guess you could put that in with the um, greenery. 
um, craft supplies. I'm not going to show you guys tonight, but they do have a ton of craft supplies back at ours, at least. Um, stamps and uh, paper and thank you cards and office supplies, all that kind of stuff. Not necessarily home decor, but I am a big crafter. And so if you follow along on my DIY stuff and you wanted to know where I get some of that stuff, I would say here. But um, yeah, so that's my little shopping spree. Let's review what I got so that you can uh, join in on Wednesday's post or at least read Wednesday's post to see where I've placed Hi, the items I'm getting tonight. So we got, of course, let's see here, the gray faux fur uh, uh, blanket, which I'm really excited about. I may even put that in my room. We got these uh, beautiful natural and kind of a blue toned pillow, two of those. We got this wood tray, which I'm actually going to refinish per Candace's suggestion, so I may not have that in my house on Wednesday. We'll see. This awesome gold frame with the big white mat. These fun pink bowls, perfect for spring and Easter. This wonderful clear blue glass uh, base. I have one like it, but it's a little taller and skinnier, and I like that this one's a little shorter and fatter. And then these corbels, which I'm going to use as bookends. And this round basket that, of course, you can't have too many of. I have at least three others like it. And then those awesome blush frames, which I'm really excited about. Because they're going to look amazing in our uh, soon-to-be dining room. So, there you have it. Again, if you want to um, print off my fun little thrift store shopping cheat sheet to take with you, you can use it to um, make note of the sizes of things that you need in your house, as well as um, it'll walk you through each of the items to look at while you're there. Um, I also put in there what to buy and what not to buy in each of those. So for baskets, like I'd recommend you buy flat tray like ones and I would recommend you don't buy ones with the single handle. It's just my preference, but it's what I've found to look best in home decor when you're using them for that purpose. So uh, anyway, if you have any questions, you can email me, rachel at joyfulderivatives.com. Um, I know, right, Jackie? Oh, my goodness, it's lovely. You can snuggle it next time you're over. <laughs> um, and then, uh, like I said, there's a link in my bio for the uh, cheat sheet. So you can just go in into your email, and I'll email you the PDF. You could print it and take it with you. I would love to hear how it helps any of you um, when you do your shopping. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. This is fun. So um, check in on Wednesday. I'll post something on Instagram to uh, remind you that it's there. But I'll have a blog post Wednesday that um, shows you where I place each of these items that we shopped for together uh, in my house decor. So... I'm going to let you all go. I'm going to meet my husband and my kids at the farm store. We're buying four more chickens tonight, um, which is going to be really awesome. We have two right now, um, but the kids are dying to have more. And, hey, I love eating eggs, so I'm totally okay with it. Um, so, yeah, I will see you all next Monday for my next live. And I hope you have, yes, Jackie, four more. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Last week I had a girl on my live and she goes, you know, uh, her name's Kate. She says, uh, you know, chickens are the gateway animal to full-time farming, right? And I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll end up full-time farming at some point in our lives. I, I'm not going to deny that, <laughs> but we love it. It's fun. So, okay. I hope you all have a wonderful night and I will see y'all next week. Bye.